Hello everyone. So in this lab exercise, we are going to see Azure front door in action. So we're going to create two web application and we are going to create a Azure front door for this application. And we're going to test how Azure front door is going to be helpful for your application. So let's go and start the lab. So in this exercise, we are going to set up an Azure front door configuration that pools two instances of a web application that runs in different Azure regions. This configuration is going to direct traffic to the nearest site that runs the application. And Azure Front Door continuously monitors the web application. So we are going to see the automatic failover to the next available site when the nearest site is unavailable. So this is an example diagram what we are going to simulate just now using this lab exercise. The high level task we are going to perform in this lab include creating two instances of a web app create a front door for the application which is running on this web app and we are going to see the Azure front door in action. So let's get started. First go ahead and create two instances of a web app. Use the global search box and type in app services and select app services and click on create. We are going to create a new resource group called Contoso resource group. Give a name for your web app. I'm going to call it as web app Contoso-3 to one. Under the publish, select code, runtime stack, we're going to select .NET 3.1, operating system windows region. The first one we are going to pick central US. Scroll down under app service plan, click on create a new app service plan. And I'm going to call it as my app service plan central US and click OK. Under size, click on change size. Under production, I'm going to pick standard, click apply and hit on review and create. After the validation, this is going to create our first app service web app. Click on create. So while this is happening, I'm going to create one more. So I'm going to go back to app services. So while this is creating, I'm going to click on create another one. Again, I'm going to keep the existing subscription. This time I'm going to choose the same resource group. Scroll down and I'm going to call this web app web app contoso-3212 under publish select code runtime stack dotnet core 3.1 lts windows operating system but in the region we are going to pick a different region so, so this time we're going to pick east us scroll down to find the app service plan i'm going to create a new app service plan this time i'm going to call it as app service plan east us the other one was central us so click ok as you can see our other deployment for the app service is completed so we'll go back to that later click on change the SKU and size i'm gonna pick production standard s1 hit apply and click on review and create so our second deployment will just now start after the validation so click on create all right so now while that is happening let's go back to our app service plan. I'm going to go back to home page, click on app services. I'm going to hit refresh. As you can see that the first web application is being created. It's created in central US and it is running. So second deployment is in progress. So soon we will see another one just below this, which will be running in East US. All right, so looks like our deployment is complete. I'm not going to go to resource. I'm going to simply refresh this page all right so looks like both of our app services are created and both are running in two different regions one in central us one in central us and another one in east us now that the first task is completed let's go and do the second task which is create a front door for your application so let's head back to the azure home page in the global search box type in front door so due to the frequent Azure changes, you may need to select the Azure front door or Azure front door and CDN profiles. So sometimes it, it used to be Azure front door, front door. Now it is known as Azure front door and CDN profile. So select that. We don't have any Azure front door and CDN profile. So hit plus to create a brand new one. So in our case, we are not going to create the Azure front door offering the first one. We are going to explore other offerings and click continue. So make sure you select the default subscription resource group. We are going to select the Contoso resource group we've been using 
and the location by default it picked up central us that is fine and click on configuration so under the configuration tab first click on front end domains and click on this plus icon and give a host name i'm going to call it as contuso dash front end 321 and i'm going to leave all other values as default and click on add next we're going to add backend pool so click on add give a name and click on add backend under backend host type make sure you select app service the rest of the values are populated by default under the backend host name we need to make sure that we select the first web app so our first web app is 321 and our second web app is 3212 so i'm going to select the 321 as the first one and leave all other values as default like http port etc so click on add and we are going to add one more backend so so make sure you click on add a backend one more time here again one more time click on add app service this time instead of the first app service i'm going to select the second app service and leave all other fields as default and click on add and click on add to complete the process so now we have added the front end and domains and backend pools the next step is to complete the routing table so hit on add on the routing table give a name for your routing table i'm going to call it as location rule Leave the rest of the values to default like accepted protocol as HTTP and HTTPS and hit on add. So our front end configuration is completed. So we have our domain, backend pools and the routing table. Now hit review and create. After the validation, click on create. All right, so our deployment is completed. So click on go to resource to just verify if you want to verify something for about the deployment. Now that we have completed the task too, the final task is to verify and view the front door in action. So let's go and do that. So let's go to all of our resources and find the front door we just created. So click on the front door we just created. And under the overview pane, make sure you find the front end host address and copy that. So go to another tab, paste the address which you copied. So now this is automatically routed to the nearest server to you from the specified servers in the backend pool. So now we had. If you remember in the backend pool, we have two servers configured. So if you remember in the exercise, we created two web app and we have added both of these web app in the backend server. So let's go and find out if this is working, if we stop one of these uh, server. So I'm gonna go back to the Azure portal, go to your app services. As you can see that we have both of these app services running and uh, both of these app services are added to the backend pool. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna select one of it and we are gonna hit stop and click on yes. So one of our web services is stopped. So let me quickly refresh. It is still running, still running. Let's hit refresh one more time. All right, so now it's saying that it's stopped. So let's go back to the front door or let's go back to the portal one more time and see if the front door is instantly failed back into another global service. So I'm gonna refresh it. Uh, we see that error message, but there may be a slight delay while the web app stops. So just we just need to hit refresh because it immediately picks up other results. Oh yeah, it's came back up. So we only see a momentarily glitch. So one of our services, one of the app services is running in the central US is stopped but the front door is configured in such a way that it should automatically fail over to the another one when it detects that this one is stopped running. So the central US is stopped running. We can still access the web application in the backend because it is because it picked up one which is running in the East US. All right, so congratulations. Now you have learned the use case scenario of Azure front door and Azure front door service. I hope you find this information useful and I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.